Hello to all. In today's web development section, we are going to learn about what is comment and then meta tags and images. We will learn about three topics and we will cover these three topics in today's session. So moving further. So comments. So basically comments is a piece of code which is being ignored by a web, a web browser. So it is a good practice to add the comments in your HTML code assembly uh, in the complex document to indicate the some section of a document and any another node looking like the looking at the code. So see what is comments? Comment is something like that. If you add some text on the web page, writing a web code, so it will be ignored by the web browser while making the web page. So what will the use of the comment comment is used to use for yourself as well as the another who is seeing your code so that it, he, he or she will understand what is going on. You can write in your language. There is no syntax rule. There is nothing you will write in your own language. What is going on this line? You will write like, let's say we are using paragraph over there. We will write uh, using paragraph. Uh, if we are using good title, if you are giving the title, we will uh, give that giving title and then we will do that uh, as we will put that uh, we will put that uh, symbol of comment and it will be not executed by the browser. So how we can use the comment and how we will put the comment over it. So see over there. This is the syntax of the comment. First of all, less than symbol, then exclamation sign and two hashes. And whatever we want to write inside this, we will write in, in, in this three dots that two dashes then greater than symbol. So this is the symbol of the comment. See for more uh, clear view, it is like this. See if we want to put a comment, see over here, for example, first of all, we have included the uh, HTML, then the header file started, then over here, a comment has been placed. So how I can know about it is a comment. It will be symbolized by this less than that exclamation then then two uh, dashes then whatever we want to write. Say uh, here is the doc, uh, document heading starts over here. Header start over here. Then two dashes then greater than sign over here. This will end the comment over here and it will not be executed by the browser, but it will be seen in the code. And another uh, person who is seeing uh, seeing your code and identify what is doing your uh, doing in your code, he will he will see that over here, the header has been start by reading the comment only. So in title, we have included a title and here the head is going. So again, we have used the comment over here that saying that comment, uh, the document header has been entered so that another person or you after some time after two to five months, you have come or come to see your code. And you will see, you will able to identify what is happening over here by reading your comments only. So in Visual Studio Code, how we can write comment? First of all, we, we are putting the HTML, HTML structure over basic structure over there and putting the uh, title, let's say, uh, let's say comment. And removing the all meta tags. And then over here, I am going to write some comment. So to write a, com a comment, we will uh, put less than symbol, exclamation sign, two dashes, and it will be put the comment over here. Now we will write any comment. So the body starts. Let's say I am going to write body starts. From here. So it will be comment over here and what we will write, I will write, uh, let's say I'm going to write H1 over here and I will write welcome and it will not be executed, but H1 will be executed. See how I'm going to go live. Then a web page will be open. See, welcome is been adding, uh, added over here with H1 tag. So this way we will add the comment. So moving the further, what is meta tags? The meta tags, which has been in this, see in the Visual Studio code, we have removed the meta tags. So in this section, we are going to learn what is meta tags. 
first of all we are going to include those meta tags uh, remove this see these meta tags these three meta tags which we are removing earlier as we are not know what familiar about these meta tags now we are going to go through what is these meta tags what are the uses of these meta tags so meta tags is being used to provide some additional information it provides the additional information this is the tag is empty in empty element it is empty and we do not want to close it so we does not want to close that tag but the, it carry the information with within its attributes so whatever we use uh, in the meta tags attribute whatever the met, uh, attribute we given to the meta tags it it is a uh, useful it is very use, useful so you can include one or more meta tags in the document we can include more one or more meta tags in our document so what information you want to keep in that documentation in the journal the meta tags do not impact the physical appearance of the documentation so it will not affect our physical uh, appearance but it will keep additional information to the browser it will give the additional information to the browser so for the appearance point of view it will not affect our physical appearance and then it will not better it will include them or not if we include meta tags include or not to include it will not matter to our physical appearance so moving further see how to add meta tags over here so you can add meta tags on your web web pages by placing a meta it is meta is a tag name so inside the header we, uh, documentation we will represent the we will represent in where we will represent inside the header uh, uh, opening inside the opening and closing header tags so how we can use those so specifying a keywords so you can write uh, use the meta uh, meta tag to specify the important keyword related to the documentation and later these keywords we use to search the engine to while indexing your web page or search i have told you now how how the indexing has work like say google spiders works to index to rank our web page on the search engine so according to these meta tags is being used over here let's say we want to rank our text we want to give uh, give rank on the we are using specifying the keywords a uh, keywords are those uh, specify what is uh, happening in our web page what is what is importance of uh, our web page we will uh, specify specify some keywords to rank our website so first of all including the html then head and then giving a meta tags the title meta tags and then we are including the meta tags over here so how we can include the meta tags first of all less than sign then meta is the key uh, 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 tag name then giving the attribute which is first attribute is name then we are going to give the value which is what what type of uh, na, uh, what type of meta tag we are going to include which is keyword we are going to use keyword over here so what keyword will do it will we have to provide to some keywords or one or many keywords you want to give it will be given to the that spider google spider and they will rank our website on that basis of these keywords see after giving the name we want now we are have to give the content so what is that content we will give the html meta tags and meta meta data see if anyone uh, search on that we we uh, i want to learn about meta tags you will search like this so we have given the meta tags over there whenever the person will be search our website will automatically rank according to the google spiders so after that we have uh, closed that meta tag now we are have to uh, close the header because a meta tags has been included inside the meta uh, header only then body starts inside body we have said the hello html5 then body also close and html close only these line will be executed on the web page none other than these meta tags meta tag will not be include uh, shown on the web page see how forget about uh, now i am going to comment this out we will discuss later on what what are those what are these function meta of the meta tags now we are going to use the meta tag of we are going to use meta tag of we are going to use meta tag of name and now we are going to use keywords keywords we will write keywords over here and now 
we are going to provide content over here content and now we will write like say we are going to use html css java script java then or you can say metadax whosoever write these keywords on the web page it will be our website will be rank over here see let's say i'm going to write a heading again over here that is saying welcome well over here and see now well has been included none other than metadax has not been included in our web page now moving further the uh, documentation document description if we want to give some description of our web page how we can use in the metadax so giving a metadax a short description about our documentation document again we will use some various search engine while are indexing our web this is also used for indexing indexing our file so how we will use we have used the keyword now we are going to use description now we in uh, in the place of keyword we will write just the description because we are going to give the description in content we will write some content over here so what is basically what is the meaning what is the main description of our web page that it learning about the metadata because we are uh, let's say we are going to use uh, we are making the website of metadata uh, metadata uh, which is explaining the metadata now over here what we will write over here that learning about metadax we will use description in the learning about the metadax how over here we will we will we can write over here that meta and then description over here description see the, uh, we will write meta how i am got uh, get this full line meta then colon and this description ka d e s c and press enter it will automatically put the description now i have to put, uh, put the content over here what should i put the content i should uh, put the content like this uh, uh, to learn html html and css we will write to learn html css over here so it will be include our page c it is not included in this side but it is include the uh, h1 over here which is i am giving well but it will be used for ranking our website description is used for that now moving to next meta tag it is revisional date so what this will be used for it will be used for re uh, refreshing your web page so it will be used for when when this website is been made when this website is been revised so how we can use this so we will write by only that only using the meta tag meta then colon revise okay there is no such kind of that so we will write meta and then we will include by name only name revise see how we will write meta and revise and then we will provide the content how we will put the web, uh, your uh, page name or uh, anything and then date over there then how uh, what will the content sorry content over here we will provide the content what will the content over here we will provide let's say wonka vision wonka vision and comma and date what, uh, what is today's date let's say it is 22 9 and 2020 it will be provide the date over there see nothing else has been printed value is all uh, is printing because we have uh, print the h1 as a well and it will include the revise also over there also ever will see that what is that date about what this publish what is the date of publish or what is this updation has been done it will be seen by this one now document re, uh, document refreshing now if there uh, i want to tell the that google search engine that according to according to our that if anyone refresh a page how many seconds it will take to refresh a page and give the whole content re, uh, re, uh, loaded so we will provide that also 
the over here see refresh and we will provide that according to the seconds it will take 5 seconds over here so google search engine will what will it will do it will say that it will rank according to the refresh rate because according to that search engine uh, ranking system uh, every every page should be reload first every re uh, uh, reloading website who will reload uh, faster has given to the more preference so how will write over here see meta then refresh over here meta and then i will write okay there is also not a mat we can't able to use that we will write name equals to inverted comma we will write re we will write refresh over here then we are going to write content and how many seconds it will take let's say 2 it will rank according to that only now moving further now setting the author name so what is that so you can set the author name inside the meta tag also so how we will write author and then name of that author how see i want to write meta tags about the author i will say author okay fine there is no author shortcut over here so we had we have to write so name author then content which is what is the author name let's say i am writing my name and now it will be authored by my now moving to the what is the we just should have got meta tags which is been predefined when we use the shortcut which is exclamation sign see over here these three tags has been pre this three tags has been pre defined by the meta tags over here so how we can do that see first meta tag what is saying first meta tag first meta tag is saying that meta which is the key uh, keyword then using the correctest set so which correctest set is using u t f slash 8 what is the full form of that uni code transformation font and now what is this what this correctest set attribute is correctest set attribute specify the character according to the and according to the html document the html file specialized specialization encourage web developer to use the wtf8 character set which covers the almost all correct and the symbol of the word so whatever is the symbol in this correct word so it will be covered by wtf8 so whatever the correct set is been covered it will be included in this only that's why we are using correct set then it is also used for in, in, uh, indexing to the google that we have using the all correct sets according, uh, according to the wtf 8 so it will include and rank our website according to that then using the ttp slash eq uip it is attribute what attribute is this what content what value it is taking it will taking a uh, compatibility so what this meta tag is going to use it will be used for compatible the browser whatever the browser it will be said that it will be compatible see over here see so i am we are going to say that it will be compat compatible and we are going to give the content which is ip ie which is stand for internet internet app, uh, internet explorer that equals to edge which means whatever the latest version what is the latest version of that browser is been used to load these website this meta tag is for that compatible that web version to this website then moving further the next our third meta tag which is been included by the visual studio code over here that is viewpoint viewport so this is the browser instruction on how to control the pages dimension and scaling the width the width device Path sets the 
width of the page followed by the width size of the devices which can be depending upon the devices see over here the we are giving the width de uh, width devices width is equal to devices width which means whatever the uh, width is of that devices let's say it is laptop it should become uh, width should be of that laptop screen if we are using that website into our phone it should be width of our mobile screen that initialize the scale to one it will initialize it will set the initializing zoom value to page first loaded to of a browser it will zoom level will be one because at the initialized stage or whatever the web browser web developer shows to the browser it will be at the initialized stage that's all about the visual studio meta tags then how we can include the images we can include by uh, important because images are very important for beautification and depending on various complex complex com uh, concepts simple wait on a browser the tutorial we will take a simple step to add our use the uh, images in our web page how we can use images what is the tag which is img which is a short form of image now using the image how we can insert the image in our web page so you can insert any web page in using the img tag so following is the syntax of that see img then source s o r c what is this full form this is source from where should i take that image here you can write url or path of where the image is being stored then then we are going to put the attribute list whatever you, another attribute we are want to give or up to this we are want to give it we can give the image tag is empty because it it do not contain any closing tag so now moving further how we can insert this is an example first of all it is this doc tab is html then html is started head started and we are going to give the title head is closed body is started now see the paragraph has been saying that simple image insertion now what we are going to do over here first of all we are going to write the uh, keyword which is img and source source of the where the image is being kept it is slash html slash image slash dash dot png this is the name of the uh, that image and this is the file's name where the image is being stored it is a location of that image alt o l t what what uh, if the image is not able to load image is not able to download on the web page then this text will be shown up on the web page let us see the example let's say i am going to delete okay let's say i am going to delete delete this out i am going to create and one more now over here i what i am going to use i am going to use a image we will going to put the image over here let's say img and then it will ask me what is the source what is the source from where you want to write i will put a slash over there and see i have put my image inside this folder only see this is the image i want to insert i have put inside my folder only so what will the path of that i will put slash over here and it will suggest the all the file name from where uh, uh, it is show the all the file see these all file are included in these file these are the same so i want to select the image name then it will be included so what if the image is not being there so what will we do that say i am going to write uh, one question the name of that what the image is being now i am going to that output screen and reload that see the image has been loaded over here so what if there is no image i i am going to delete this image and see there is no image present in this so what will be it will display it will display a text alter text what we have given over there and a image symbol that the image can't be reload i'm going to come that image back now we can able to see that image because the image has been come over again now moving further now the image is so large that width is so large but if we i want to make the image width i want to control that i want to shrink that image size so i will use 
width and height attribute in the image tag see width and height so how can i use inside my also so i will write over here after the alter i will write width and it will uh, ask me what value should you want to give i will write say i will write 100 pixel and after that i am going to ask what is the height height i want to give the 150 pixel and will be it according to that it is too small let let us give some more value let's say it is been 500 then it should be uh, let's say it should be 700 and see image should be some more bigger see i am now i am wanted to reduce the size of height let's say 250 see the image has been properly loaded so what is the height height will control this and width will control this width is this height is this whatever you value give to the width see if i want to inspect this element and i want to get according to this let's say i want to give to image i will select over here image and see the uh, the ratios has been given the width is we can change according to this value also if i want to change the value over here i will write okay fine i will increase the value i will if i want to decrease the value see width is decreasing see width is being decreased over here and now if i want to also decrease the height of this let's say 200 is be more than sufficient i think so let's say 225 and press enter see the height is also being decreased over here now moving further we have set the uh, width and height now we are going to uh, put the image border so how we can write the border so border will be included by the border request you and here we are going to write the what is the size of that border so how we can write the border we will write after that border equals to let's say two it will put the border see the black border is there and now we have done the border also now next now we can align our text uh, image also so how we can align that uh, image again then that attribute which is align equals to right left right or center any value we, we want to give how we can give we will put align over here align equals to i want to give, give center value and image should be on center refresh this what happened okay if i give right should it go yeah it is going to the right and now i am going to give center Okay, center is not working. I think there is one any sure. Uh, let's say it is right. It is going to the right over there. Now, now uh, image line is also completed. So till here we have done what we have done. We have done. We have done comment also. Now we have done the meta tag and we have done Visual Studio meta tags also. Then we have done the image, how we can insert image, how we can set the length and width of that image. Till now, any doubt, any anything, you can ask me. Feel free to ask me. Thank you.